shot of the Celtics earlier. Coming down the tunnel. They're not messing around. They're ready to get to work here at home. Happy holidays, everyone, from all of us at 2K Sports. Thanks for joining us at this most special time of the year. Hello, everyone. I'm Brian Anderson, joined by Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg. We'll hear from reporter Allie LaForce in a moment. Allie, it's all yours. Rudy Gobert has had his skeptics. He said, quote, no one ever thought I could be an NBA player or one of the leaders on my team. It's the story of my life and something that I embrace. The better you get, the more people talk. So I take every criticism as a compliment. Either way, you cannot let it affect you. Brian? Good stuff, Alex. Thanks. And tonight, we're looking at two teams who make their living beyond the arc, Grant. Yeah, they love to shoot the three-point shot, and they do it effectively. And of course, that means these two teams understand the importance of good spacing. They're great shooters on both sides, to be sure, but motion and ball movement are the real keys to their three-point attacks. Looking at the starting five for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Filling in the wings, Edwards and McDaniels. Rudy Gobert is out there with Kyle Anderson. And it's Russell in at the point. And for the Celtics, Smart and White make up the backcourt. The core of this team, Brown and Tatum, they're the forwards. And it's Horford in at the five spot. Tip off goes to Minnesota. Tatum against Anderson. The three-pointer off the mark. Russell making a play. 
Murray. Russell's got four assists in the game. And the defense is really allowing them too much room on the floor. Time out, time out. Time Ball call here. Time the Celtics out. decide to talk it over. You know, one of the things that sets McDaniels apart is his ability to guard virtually any position on the floor. He creates major matchup problems with that versatility. in for Smart. Pass to Pritchard. Left side, Brown. And the jam by Brown. Well, I don't think there's any excuse for allowing Brown to get that deep. I mean, he's brilliant at throwing it down if the defense doesn't stop him. Talking about McDaniel's defense. That's how he got a lot of minutes early in his career. You know, a lot of guys make their mark defensively early on which buys them time to develop in other areas. It's an idea away for young players to contribute right away. If you're stressing defense, then he's a guy that you want on your team. Oh, a great look there. Brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. And out of battle, Austin will have it. As we get deeper into the season, the Eastern Conference standings are really taking shape. Let's take a look. You take a look at the Celtics. What a season thus far for them. Second place in the conference. You know for the Celtics, I recall them having a lot of naysayers at the start of the season. But now, they may not have any. This team is ready for a deep playoff run. They do have the pieces in place for a title run, but the competition in the playoffs will be stiff. And a second look at that rejection, taking no prisoners on defense there. Tell you what, early in the game, these kinds of plays can really set the tone. Oh, boy, I like their energy coming in. <laughs> Terrific execution so far. And you know, it's an all-out effort they've come in with. Very aggressive offense so far. Now here's Tatum. Coming off 41 points last game out. Oh, it's blocked! It deflects off the backboard. against Gobert to the paint. Anderson passes to Edwards. Here's Gobert. McDaniels from long range. And another three for Minnesota. They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. It's hard for me to watch this. I mean, the defense practically giving them those shots. That one falls. They have no answer defensively inside. Straight field goals now that they've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. Now here's McDaniels. He's got 16. Yeah, and he's in his bag from beyond the arc right now. You see his confidence. Yeah, I'd be confident too. As a matter of fact, I mean, if you're stacking up threes the way he is, I mean, he's doing all this work from behind the arc. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. First, hey, if you can't block it, sending it to the line can be the next best thing. Yeah, exactly. Prevent the layup, give them a little bump, and then maybe they'll think twice about coming into the lane next time. And if they don't think about it, at least they might be distracted by your presence. Shot is good by Edwards. They've really built this lead on the back of their perimeter game. And I like the strategy. It's a great strategy. Bury those threes early, and it'll open up the inside for them later on. Tatum can't hit.
adversity. I don't mind shooting from the perimeter, but every once in a while, go mix it up and take advantage of your size mismatch in the paint. Rockton and Brown are on the wing. Jason Tatum out there with Al Horford, and it's Smart in it to one. That's the five to begin the second quarter for the Celtics. Here's Brockton. The Timberwolves getting their last shot to go. And here's Brown for three. That one doesn't go. He's just two for five. And Minnesota has possession. They lead by their biggest margin of the game. It's at 15 points. Russell from outside. And that one makes him two the for two. Angel. He's in his rhythm. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Really a prime example of the difference how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. Well, a big trade over the summer, bringing Rudy Gobert to the Wolves. And it's a bit of a fresh start for Gobert, a main star of this team that is loaded with talent but needed that defensive angle. Smart passes to Tatum. Good team by Gobert. Probably should have scored there. He usually does. And the basket is good. He got it to go, and he took the ball. So a free throw cover. Kind of an opportunity in a three-point play. The Celtics making a switch here. Williams is checked in. The Timberwolves also with a sub. Rivers is checked in. And you have to think that one advantage the Celtics team has is a deep roster. Lots of quality guys they can assemble different ways. They're pretty adaptable. And Boston calls time here. And you know, first of all, right bench now, really is a gift for the Celtics in tough situations. And even a great starting five isn't perfect against every opponent. It's important to have flexibility, and that's something that Boston definitely has. Now, here's Williams. Checking his numbers, he's put up a little over nine points a game. And the basket is good. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point-blank range. Here's Rivers. 19-point game. What a finish. I mean, he just took over himself. What a show of power right there from the point guard. Man, sweet. And you know, guys, when your point guard is making explosive plays at the rim, I really do think it sets the tone for the rest of the team. The offensive rebound. And Horford gets it to go. Horford showing you what concentration and strength can do. That contact phased him hardly at all. Outside Edwards from deep three-point range. And the Timberwolves hit again from deep. He's picking up right where he left off in the first quarter. Pass to Williams. Here's Brogdon. Up and in on the layup. Brogdon's got his first points in this one. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. You got to play with some physicality in the paint. Fantastic replay we just saw of the mobile one drive. Yeah, down big. You got to find a way to generate easy offense. Getting into the paint is step one. He did everything in his power to make that a hard shot. And you know what, guys? That will pump him up because he takes a ton of pride in what he does on defense. Boy, I like how quickly he threw the bounce pass there. Hard to defend against that. And here in the second quarter, about three minutes played. Pass to Brogdon. From 17 away. And go there with a block. A rangy defender with great defensive timing. Why do you think they call Gobert the stifle tower? The Timberwolves have gotten six of their seven shots to go in the second quarter. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. Balanced play has given them the lead and also quieted this crowd. Yeah, you said the key word there, balanced. I mean, their big lead owes as much to their defense as their offense. Now, here's Williams. And here's Brown for three. The rebound by the Timberwolves. Gobert's got his fourth rebound in this round. And the ball out of bounds. The Celtics will have it. Let's check in with our reporter. Thanks. Well, Jason Tatum added muscle to his frame and layers to his game, but still not satisfied. He said, quote, I just got to be better. I have to elevate my level from being one of the top 10 to 15 players to a top five player. I got to make everybody else around me better. Brian, still work to do. And plenty of runway to do it, Allie. Thanks. White can't hit. And here's Minnesota now. They're on a 17-6 run. Pass to Rivers. And the Timberwolves hit again from deep. They've had a hard time shutting down the three-point shot. And they're not making up for it with their own shots from deep either. So that's a double-edged sword there. And yep, it's good. Smart is good. 
second bucket on the back. Brown, not just a super athlete, folks, but he's got excellent skills as well. A tremendous floor gentleman. Here's Anderson. He's got five. Gets the three to fall. Rivers has got eight here in this quarter. As the deep shots continue to fall, you can sense the frustration growing among these defenders. Yeah, and they either have been unwilling or unable to take that shot away. Plays like that, so easy for him. Here's Edwards. And the shot goes. Edwards has got 16 points. Tell you what, he has been feeling it, guys, and the best game plan right now, it's elementary. Let's keep feeding him. Let him eat. Outside, Williams. And Williams punches it home. Elevates and detonates the one-hand stuff. Picture perfect. I'm glad he didn't go overboard and try to do too much there. Shot is good by Edwards. And a massive reason they're winning. This guy hasn't missed a shot. Not one. Kicks it out to Smart. Puts up a three. And it's Gobert with a rebound. Gobert's got five rebounds tonight. Here's Rivers. Oh, got it off in time, but it's no good. And so it's the Minnesota Timberwolves. Firmly in control with an impressive 28-point lead as the quarter ends. Their efficiency has been off the charts. They're running their sets well with patience and purpose. And more NBA action on 2K Sports. Coming your way right after this. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings to each and every one of you watching at this very moment. Uh, I'm Ernie Johnson. Any of the Jet Smith is here. Shaq is here. One half is behind us. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. It's Minnesota out in front of the half. They are completely in control of the game, leading by a massive amount. Kenny, what's your view? What a brilliant, unselfish half of basketball they just played. Their ball movement was absolutely impeccable. All in all, just beautiful basketball to watch. And Shaq, what are your thoughts on Boston? They're getting a bruise in the same position. That's what I'm going to set the tone. Get back to your toast. That's what the scoreboard is reflecting right now. Your toast with the butter. And that's a wrap. With the third quarter approaching, we now send you back to Kevin and the crew. A nice number. On the court for Minnesota. D'Angelo Russell is out there with Austin Rivers. Then there's Rudy Gobert. Then it's Jaden McDaniels. And it's Anderson in at the power forward position. Here's McDaniels. And it's flushed down. He's been playing great unselfish basketball. Really putting the rock in the hands of the right shooters. He is delivering a lot of room service times tonight. One sweet one after another. Tatum from long range. He drops it from range. Tatum's got nine. So a focal point for Tatum early on. Increase the consistency from deep. And he's done that with a lot of lab work. Rivers. Buries it from three. Austin, hey, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. The ball's knocked loose. Anderson against White. Anderson passes to Gobert. The three ball. That shot off. And the Celtics going the other way now. Here in this third quarter, just over a minute play. Tatum against Anderson. And out of bounds. Out of Boston will have it. Boston. Boston. Price tag on the Minnesota Timberwolves game last season. Playoff experience. Young guys getting accustomed to the crucible of postseason play. Extremely valuable. Noel, he's checked in for Rivers. Now here's Brown. 
Six points for him. Second chance shot. It's blocked by Gobert. Oh, and the ball goes oh, out of bounds. Oh. Last touch by Russell. And we're about a minute and a half in. also raises your regular season play? I don't think there's any question about it, B.A. I never had a chance in my short career to play in the playoffs, but I covered a bunch of them as a broadcaster. There's a different electricity. There's a different intensity. There's a different feel in the locker room. You learn not to back down. You learn to work through adversity. And you learn to play under pressure. Well, I like this execution coming out of the half. Solid. Three for four from the field so far. Jacks up a three. And the Timberwolves hit again from deep. Adjustment time for these guys. The defense has to make some adjustment here. Smart outside. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Rudy Gobert picks one up. Man, good whistle there. First yeah, you can hear the smack all the way over here. Where we are. Robert Williams checked in for Boston. Reeves checked in for the Timberwolves. Minnesota's gone three or four from outside in the second half. Oh, got that bucket in no time at all. Anderson's got seven. Terrific read on the part of Russell that time. Scanned the court, spotting the open man, and then whipped it there for an easy bucket. Here's Tatum. Oh, and Reed with a block. Outside Russell. No good for Boston. They've gotten just 25% of their shots to fall since the half. Two for eight. And there it is for White. White's got his second bucket on the night. White that time, feeling the separation, was able to shoot that shot with rhythm. And for people who didn't know about Derek White before last year's playoffs, they sure knew about him now. They're big on the biggest stage. Boy, he's really been on a roll this morning. Seems like everything he throws up is finding bottom. Now here's Smart. He has six. There's Tatum with the three. Williams passes to Tatum. Smart outside. Kept alive. As usual, he's oh, right there to save the play. Nice timing on the tip in. 133 left in the third quarter. Here's Noel. Misses the three. It's amazing how much energy White brings to the floor, Grant. You know, B.A., he has a passion for the game. He's tough, and he's very intelligent. He makes great decisions. He has all the tangibles you're looking for. Great teamwork on that drive. Punctuated by a strong finish. That is the perfect fast break, guys. Getting a hoop before the defense can get set. All right, let's get a report from Allie. Well, guys, the Celtics are handing the keys to the two Jays, Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. They're having growing pains, and even some questioning the pair can coexist. But Brown said, quote, the adversity will help us grow. As long as I'm on the same page with him and he's on the same page with me, we're all good. Brian? Figuring it out, Alec. Thank you. Now here's Smart. Looking at his production, close to 12 points a game. And it's good. Two points. If you give him any sort of space, he's going to attack. Reed passes to Russell. There's the triple. Nails it from three. D'Angelo. Russell's got nine. Three. This is what it's been since halftime. Remarkable results from downtown. Boy, it's been a three-point barrage. They came out gunning and have not stopped. <laughs> and I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is, too. Here's Noel. And the ball out of bounds. The Celtics will have it. Oh, big ball. And some changes here for the Celtics. On the ball. Griffin, he's checked in for Horford. Malcolm Brogdon comes in for White. And Pritchard is subbed in for Smart. Boston's gone just one of six from long distance here in the third. The shots just aren't falling. Tatum, good. 13 points in the game. I tell you, we get these explosive nights from Tatum more and more often. I mean, he's got the jewels of a top 10 score in this league. They're on display now. He can take over in a nanosecond. I mean, once he catches fire, it's difficult to squelch him. Tatum can't hit. And so it's the Minnesota Timberwolves cruising into the next quarter with a 30-point advantage. And their three-point shooting, a big reason they have a size of speed. And don't go far. We'll be right back.
reveal our State Farm assist of the game. Ooh, I'm fired up to see this dish one more time. It's always great to see your two guards share the wealth. Yeah, platinum level dime dropping there, fellas. Accurate and on time. As we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works, or if it's more of the same for the first three quarters. Grant Williams out there with Griffin. Then there's Peyton Pritchard. Oh, it's Malcolm Prince. Brogdon. And it's Jackson in at the three. That's the Boston Five. The Celtics shooting at a decent clip, 45% for the game. And Griffin slams it in. Oh, this man. is the kind of unselfishness he loves seeing from Brogdon, making sure he gets it to the open man. Prince, defended by Jackson. Here's Forbes. And the Timberwolves Three, hit again four. from deep. Three points. That man is laser focused. Now, that's bad defense for a team that has a long way to go to catch up. They look pretty demoralized to me, and that always shows through at the defensive end first. And here we go. The Timberwolves on the run. Right. And the whistle Boston blows foul. as the basket that's counts. Good. Chance at a three-point opportunity here. Foul. Free throw coming up. Brown, he's checked in for Brogdon. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Timberwolves. Their hot shooting from long distance has been the key. Space in the floor and rising up for that confidence. Boy, they showed no hesitation on the mid-range game as well. I thought that was really a big key for them. One minute in now in the fourth quarter. Pritchard. That basket is good. Off the assist from Jackson. Boy, I tell you what, what a well-designed play. Executed beautifully, too. Outstanding dribble drive. And that replay was brought to you by Mobile One. Yeah, he made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. The Celtics have gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. Pass to Jackson. Launches it. Minnesota with a rebound. It'll be their second game of a four-game road trip. Here's Forbes. It's the trifecta. Four. Forbes has got six in the quarter. The defense is nowhere to be found guarding the three-point shot. And Boston has possession. Kicks it out to Jackson. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. For Minnesota, they've gotten four or five attempts to fall so far in the fourth. Fritz really solid athlete going in town nicely there. Here's Brown. Two minutes gone by here in the fourth. Shoots from 12. Reed with the rebound. Reed's got four rebounds now. Pass to Knight. To the middle. And out of bounds. The Celtics will take it. And now it's time to take another view of that huge spot. Oh, amazing indeed. And getting stops like that only encourages them to keep attacking on the offensive end. Noel has checked in for Rivers. Jalen Noel. Boston has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Griffin with it. Jackson on the wing. No good with the triple. He's giving his all, but you can't force yourself back on track. Here's Reed. Griffin pulls down the board. Coaches load empty possessions. You gotta be able to hit the easy ones. Pritchard gets it to go. Defensively, gotta close out a little faster. That's a look he'll make with regularity. Here's Forbes. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Forbes has got nine points here in the second half. The Celtics have gotten three of eight shot attempts to find the net here in the fourth quarter. Looking to get back on track. And the jam by Brown. Two hands on the rock. He powers it through. Totally in control. Protecting the ball the whole way. And he should be. Remove all doubt. Get it down hard and simple. Just magnificent. I mean, he punishes the D for a lackluster effort. They look a little disorganized there, but the result is an emphatic jam. Guys, there has to be better rim protection than that, though. Not very good. 
Minnesota has gone four or five from beyond the arc here in the fourth. Oh, got that one up quick. Four. Forbes has got 11 here in the quarter alone. Like the assertiveness, and that comes from having the green light to shoot off the pass. Forbes, one of the very best shooters off the pass or dribble. It's tough to get open in this league, and when you do, it hurts not to capitalize. And what a complete performance we saw from them. A dominant win in every way for the Timberwolves. And everything seemed to go their way today. They were firing on all cylinders, Grant. Yeah, B.A., this was the kind of performance you relish as a player. Just a very impressive win. And for the year, this will give them win number 17. And against a non-conference opponent, you really want to win the first one. They'll go into the next one knowing how to beat this team for sure. And that next meeting will be their second and final game of the season series being in opposite conferences. So you bet nobody wants to get swept even in the two-game season series. I think the next game will be hotly contested. Count that one. Play. At this stage in his career, Griffin brings with him a deep arsenal of moves inside. Here's Forbes. Williams grabs the board. Boston's gone one for five shooting from the arc here in the fourth. Pass to Griffin. And a great assist by Brown as that one goes in. Unfortunately for them, they're still going to come up short. You wish they showed this kind of fight earlier. Yeah, you know, I agree with you. They waited too long to finally ramp themselves up. Yeah, they blocked out the noise, blocked out the distractions, kept on grinding, and this is their reward. Boy, a fantastic performance. And I'll tell you something, I mean, you get roadkill, that's always a challenge in the NBA, no matter what. And they got it done. The putback. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Way to work the glass, buffet style. Second chance bucket. They can make a big difference. 24 seconds left in the fourth. Jackson outside. Three-pointer. They grab their own miss. Second shot opportunity. And it's finished off by Griffin as he lays it in. Always with good instincts on the glass. Griffin finding a way to impact this game. And the shot goes in. And guys, that's got to be the dagger. This is how you can finish a game. Yeah, what a time to put the hammer down. Any hope of a comeback? Diminished. Prince with the bucket. This has been their game plan here in the final period. We'll see if it continues to work out. You know what? Teams can get a little free happy down the stretch sometimes. Letting it fly. And so it's Minnesota easily grabbing this one. This one wasn't even close. The hometown crowd was waiting for a miracle that never came. Yeah, and this team was consistent throughout. They met every challenge and they earned this dub. All right, let's send it down to Allie LaForce, who's with our player of the game. All right, thanks, guys. D'Angelo, some great basketball tonight. Talk about the winning habits this team is forming. Keeping it simple on the offensive end, limiting our errors on the defensive end. I think that fouls up. We stay solid throughout the whole game. It's just simple, man. I think the, the simple we keep it, the better we are as a team. Keep it simple. What a great reminder. Thanks, D'Angelo. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. And that'll do it, folks. For Ally the Force, Clark Kellogg, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. So long and good night, everyone.